Yes. Um, I was using the clean language with my daughter last night. She said she was having scary thoughts and didn't want to have mad dreams. If I asked my daughter, how specifically don't you want to have bad dreams? She would have said, she wouldn't have said anything. She wouldn't have understood me exactly. at all. But when I asked, what would you like to have happen? And she said, um, I'd, I'd like to have happy dreams. And I say, oh, what kind of happy is that? She understands that. She's five years old, by the way. Now, I know that we're all adults and we're communicating with adults, but I think the more simple the language, the less people have to engage other elements of, of more sophisticated concepts and things which start to pollute what's going on. So if you say, could you say more about that specifically? If I said that to my five-year-old daughter, she would draw a blank. But if I say, what kind of happy is that happy? Yeah. She can answer that with a very big no. Now, one interesting thing that just happened, I don't know whether anybody noticed it, but James just gave a beautiful demonstration of the power switch, which is the piece that we're about to move on to. So if I could just <coughs> rewind and ask James to um, go run through it again slowly. So, your daughter came down and said... Yeah, she was having scary thoughts and uh, didn't want them to become real, is what she said. And so you asked her... I asked her, uh, and you're having scary thoughts, and what would you like to have happen? And you're having scary thoughts, and what would you like to have happen? That question is what I've labelled the power switch. And she said... And she said that she would like to have happy thoughts. And you said? And what kind of happy is that happy? So he used the power switch and he followed it with one of the Lazy Jedi questions. And we could go on, I suspect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it filled her mind. It expanded, unpacked, built a whole new kind of reality in her mind that she, she then went back to bed with and could go to sleep thinking nice things. Mm -hmm. So it's an example of directing attention, directing thought. How old is your daughter? She's five. five. 